Yo, what's going on guys? Ghost here and today I wanted to show you guys a video on TikTok that I saw and um, of course before we move on all the credit will be given to, to the guy who stitched it and you guys will see that credit. His name's the Johnny Man on TikTok and he stitched a video that really set me off in a way that um, was really in a fucked up sense. It's, it's a very awful opinion from a another creator on the platform please do not go send hate to her at all i get it may be a little bit of a terrible opinion but please don't go after her so before we move on if you guys want to just go ahead and support the channel by subscribing we are on the road to 200 subscribers we are currently so close to 140 i want to thank you guys for all the support we've also hit 200 views almost 200 views on one of my newer videos and i want to thank you guys for that but let's go ahead and get into the major opinion on this twist so go ahead and watch this video to all the black men that date strictly white women riddle me this just a quick note your use of the word strictly here is not genuine whatsoever you'd have an issue either way you just see black dudes dating white girls that you don't like and you assume that they made some invisible pact to only date that specific race newsflash people date outside their race and it's not a bad thing but you realize this which is why you have to use the word strictly to make your case look better but carry on why would you not want your white girlfriend to be white like, why are you co-signing black hairstyles and acrylic nails and bonnets when you're trying to get away from that because you don't like black women, right? So why would you not want your white girlfriend to be doing white shit? Like lip syncing to Taylor Swift and straightening her hair. This is just another prime example of someone being so subconsciously insecure within themselves, so insecure within their race, that they base their whole entire worldview around those insecurities. This is the equivalent of calling a black kid that reads books and gets good grades whitewash, because only white people are smart enough to do those. Also, I'll admit, I took a glance at your profile. And there's a good amount of posts with you not wearing your real hair. So because that hair is straighter than your natural hair, does that then make you white? Do you want to be white? I'm sure you don't, and I'm sure you would agree. Anytime I see a white girl like this on my For You page, there is a black man right behind her. The longer you look at life through a racial lens, especially things like this, the longer you're just going to be holding yourself back. The longer you're going to be unhappy. Everybody I've met with these mindsets never truly seems happy. They're always mad about something. <laughs> that does not seem like a decent life to live. You don't know that girl life. That girl could have had black girls just like you hyping her up about what she up to. Then here you come. Everything's about me. Everything's about the way I feel. We got to stop with these toxic mindsets because it's only going to set us back. All right, so shout out to Johnny for the take. Um, without his take, I probably could have made a more biased and better opinion. So real quick, I just want to say that um, don't send any hater away, but I'm just going to say this was probably the stupidest and the worst take I've ever heard before. As someone who's been in a biracial relationship and has been really called really weird things by people who strictly see that being in a biracial relationship is weird um i have before and uh i will tell that story shortly but i want to kind of move into some of the claims she said first so one of the first things she really brings up and doesn't really make a lot of sense to me is her point of that this black man dates a white woman who is wearing acrylic nails and wearing a weave she says that she's not the stereotypical white girl everyone wants and that's what she wants so what she's kind of implying here is that since she put on an acrylic nails and since she put on a weave and since she wears bonnets and does all this stuff is that she's not white anymore you know she's black she's she's not what black people want she's not white anymore newsflash that don't change your race doesn't change because you put on a bonnet and you wear acrylic nails and you do that your race doesn't change. No matter, no matter your sexuality, no matter your preference, no matter whatever, you will stay as your race. You don't change that. You're forever going to be white, black, Filipino, whatever you are. And that's what he wants. That's what he values. That should be what's important at the end of the day. And she's very insecure with some of these claims. And one of the wor other worst takes that she kind of brings up is the fact that the stereotypical white girl in quotations is Taylor Swift fans who straighten their hair. Now, let me bring this up to you. That's not a white girl. That's a perfect 
Taylor Swift fan who listens to Taylor Swift and just straightens her hair. You know what my perfect example for that is? Ice Spice. Is Ice Spice whitewashed because she listens to Taylor Swift, literally did a song with her, went to concerts with her, and legit straightens her hair? She straightened her hair several times. You can find several pictures of that. Does that make her whitewashed? No. You were publicly on your page wearing wigs and doing stuff does that make you whitewashed no that same way that doesn't make that girl in the photo whitewashed she's white herself nothing changes she stays herself you know none of that changes she's not black because she puts on random stuff and you know it's just not it's just a style at the end of the day all of it's a style you can't subject any style around anybody anybody can wear any style it doesn't matter who you are what your sexuality is what your preference is you can wear and do whatever you want and that take was very awful that's taylor swift take and trust me in my biracial relationship um i dated a black african-american woman who you know also straightened her hair and listened to taylor swift big taylor swift fan by the way um she really loved to talk to her friends who strictly dated black men and she said they said a lot of racist not racist stuff sorry a lot of hateful and slandering stuff towards me that really didn't affect me at the time but looking back on it it was really weird they called me like colonizers and different stuff like that you know i like to joke about it because you know i think a lot of the hate that i get for a lot of these things are pretty funny i don't take them to heart because you know being a pacifist you don't really care about a lot of things and you just kind of let a lot of things go and I'm not at all making this conflict. I'm just replying to a take that has been on a public platform and trying to base my own opinion off of it. You can hate her if you want. I'm not going to force you to do anything. But if I were to do anything, I'd just say let her opinion stand and I can hate on it all I want. So it's a public thing, you know. Um, so it's very weird how she also kind of says on her for you page she sees all these black men who i mean all these white women who wear acrylic nails and you know wears wigs and bonnets and all this other stuff and right behind them is a black man let me just say this not all white women who do that always have a black man behind them i've seen several tiktoks literally everywhere that shows white women who do that kind of stuff with Filipino men, other white women. You know, it's just not subjected to that one significant race. And that she says that, it's just very weird. She has a very public platform. I've checked her page. She has a ton of followers. And she's sitting there publicly judging a happy biracial couple. I mean, if you look at the page of the girl she stitched she took down that video by the way i was able to find the original account that she stitched they're happy they're publicly posting each other i did a lot of research into this topic and i really just found out that they are just happy like they didn't even reply to this video it's because they're just happy i mean why can't you just be stop being so insecure and just realize that Anybody can date who they want without having these restrictions or having to live a certain way with a certain person. You know, if I'm going to date, you know, a Filipino woman, I'm not going to start adapting and doing different Filipino things. No, I'm just going to be happy and be me in a relationship. Nobody hops in a relationship and is like, all right, you see my personality? Fuck that. Out the window. I'm, I'm completely changing my personality and becoming this significant filipino man no that doesn't go away i'm white i'm white forever i will always be white nothing will change until the day i die and whatever happens afterwards i will not be you know i will always be white you know shout out god i won't be anything past that so if you guys enjoyed this take um go ahead and leave a like down below also i have all my social medias all credits will be credited and um yeah we're on the road to 200 subscribers please help me out with that and i will see you guys in the next video this is ghost app